Okay, today uh, I'm going to be uh, making a prototype circuit board uh, for a uh, design that I did a while back for a customer. Uh, this particular design is a uh, replacement card for uh, an old piece of equipment. It uh, takes a 0 to 10 millivolt in and produces a 0 to 10 volts out. So it's essentially an instrumentation amplifier and signal conditioner. Um, in a kind of a Euro card uh, format. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to plot this on our uh, quick circuit um, that's made by T-Tech. Uh, right now I've got the, uh, the circuit design up. I'm going to load the uh, software that's associated with uh, the equipment and I'll show it over here. This is the uh, quick circuit uh, circuit board uh, designer. So it basically has a high-speed spindle that uh, can remove the uh, board material and uh, basically uh, you know take out the um, material to make the traces so it's similar to etching except uh, it's mechanically done here uh, there's this is the control unit for it that connects to the uh, PC that's over here and it's just a small uh, Dell uh, small form factor uh, uh, PC running Windows XP and this is the unit for the uh, air pressure controller for the um, uh, for the uh, spindle to move the uh, spindle up and down uh, there is actually a solenoid version as well but they're phasing that out uh, reason being is that um, it overheats too quickly and uh, you have to stop in between uh, uh, sessions you know when you're doing a large board run you actually have to stop to make it cool down so in this case I don't have that problem because it's all pneumatic so I got it supplied from a, a, a um, air compressor uh, that's out in the shop. So I've set it to about 20, 28 psi, and that should be enough. So what you do is you load the uh, Gerber files into the uh, IsoPro software, and I've already done that. And then you run uh, an isolation on it, which basically means that it outlines the traces. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, so this is a double-sided board. I'm going to uh, just do one side. So this is uh, the top side, and this is the bottom side. Sorry. Actually, that's not correct. This is the top side. The other side is the bottom side. So I'm going to isolate this one. Um, so what I do is tools and then isolate, select the layer, and then uh, I usually check remove or done the data. That just prevents the uh, spindle from moving all over the place. So it runs an isolation on it. It's fairly quick. And then it creates another layer. And as you can see here, it outlined it. So that's the one uh, here. Let me just hide the rest including that one. So there it is. So that's actually what the spindle is going to cut out. Okay, I'm going to run this layer again now that I've changed the uh, tool on it. Okay, we're going to slow it down a little bit because this is a 10 mil tool. Um, 8 inches per minute looks good. and Let's run it. Those are particularly narrow traces, those ones. Those are the ones here. If you can see, this is a board that I had professionally made. Um, so these are the traces that we're talking about right now. So they're fairly thin.
And when it's all done, it's supposed to look like this right here. This is a, a working version. Still uh, needs some work here on the back, as you can see. It's got some uh, jumpers and uh, resistors in there, but for the most part it's working. And of course it's linear, but I'll show that in another uh, video. Okay, looks like it's done. That actually took about 20 minutes. Uh, the software indicated it was going to take about 75 minutes, but it actually only took the 20 minutes. So now I'm going to change the tool and uh, put a drill bit in it and uh, start drilling the the, uh, the holes. Okay, so I got the uh, drill bit in there, got the depth set properly, and uh, it's drilling the holes. Okay, looks like it's done drilling the holes, so let's have a look at it. Okay, well this is the finished board. I don't know if you can see it, but the detail is excellent on it. Um, holes are uh, centered. So it's looking very good. I'll have to upgrade, drill a few holes, uh, especially the one for the uh, TO220 um, regulators, but uh, and of course the transformer not to mention the connector but uh, overall it's looking very good alright well that's it thanks for watching